I've already applied my eye makeup and my eyebrows and I made sure to put some green before I did my makeup to make sure it blended in seamlessly. The first step is to do your horns and I'm using Krivlin Silver to make them symmetrical. Just touch on the major points of the shape, draw a dot, and then all you'll need to do is connect the dots and that'll make sure you have nice symmetrical horns and this works for any shapes for swirls or butterfly wings or whatever you need to be symmetrical use this technique and it'll be perfect every time now just mimic that shape on the other side but make sure it gets wider as you go down and switch to a larger brush to fill in the shape I'm outlining the wings in purple and just do a curving shape coming from the horn with sweeping U shapes going towards your eye and then finally you want to end the wing with it curving up in towards the outer corner of your eye. Now I'm going to start on my dragon and I'm using this picture as inspiration. Now I'm using a thin brush and some Krivlin Black to do my dragon and I want it to have a nice flow so I'm having the jaw be parallel and mimicking the shape of the horns. Now whenever you're doing um, complicated drawings like this, don't get uh, intimidated. Just focus on the small shapes and each part of it. Focus on the mouth then focus on the ears and if you mess up it's okay just quickly wipe it away you don't even have to erase it all and keep going you'll paint over your messed up parts later on make sure the beak of the dragon is sweeping downwards and then just continue focusing on each shape and slowly building your dragon Now before I fill in my body, I'm going to quickly highlight my horns with the Krivlin Silver. This way they don't get lost in the big shape of the body. Now that the dragon is outlined, I'm going to take a quick break from it and finish filling in my background color, which is Krivlin Neon Green. I wanted it to be the brightest green possible to mimic the color of Maleficent's magic. And to make it even brighter, I'm gonna mix in a little bit of white, and this is gonna make it more opaque and just, it looks like it glows on the skin in person. It's amazing. So I'm quickly going to go around my shapes and fill in with green, and also fade the color down around my eyes so that it has a nice transition into my skin. Finally, I'm gonna take light green from Krivlin and add a little bit of white to that also. And I'm gonna add that to high points of my face just to give a little interest. It's hard to see in the video, but um, it just adds some depth and color to the design. Using a BAM stencil that looks kind of like reptile skin, I'm going to stencil on some of the neon green, just down fading off of the wings. And then I'm gonna flip my sponge over and put some of that light green on there as well for some good color variation. And then just move the stencil across your design so that it has a nice fade going from about the center of your eye all the way to your ear and then curving down around your jaw and this will add a nice shape. Now it's time to finish filling in the dragon. So add your black, add purple to the stomach and you can just use your finger to um, blend it down into the green. And of course, purple to the ears and hot pink, just kind of dot it along the stomach to add highlights and give texture. 
Do the same on the ears. Wipe away the paint where the eyes would be and then quickly draw them in. Then start with your highlights. I used Krivlin Silver and put it anywhere where the light will hit. This will help differentiate the different parts of your dragon. And there you have it. For the horns, just take a really skinny brush and some black paint and quickly outline them and then add curving lines all across. For shading, you can use powder, which makes it easier in my opinion, and just go along all the outside edges of the little square shapes you made. And you can use your finger to blend it all together. Add some highlights and the horns are finished. Using a filbert brush and metallic purple paint, flick the color up into the green to give a nice fade. Dab on hot pink for intensity and blend it up with your finger. Outline in black and pull up lines from the center of each point to mimic dragon wings. Shade the upper and bottom portion of the wings with eyeshadow and you're all finished. To complete the look, you can add red lipstick like Maleficent wears. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't done so already, please check me out on Facebook. The link to that as well as all the products I used in the video and where you can buy them are listed down below in the info box.